All right, everyone, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today, we're going to be talking about how you can protect your hand while bowling. Stay tuned. All right, Kyle, so when it comes to bowling, protecting your hand can be one of the most important things that you can do because when yes. you're bowling a lot of games, your hand undergoes a lot of wear and tear and sometimes your skin can rip and when you get blisters, uh, it becomes very hard to bowl well and continue to give yourself the best chance to do well. So uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the steps we go through to make sure our hand uh, is doing what it needs to do. But first I wanna say that the the, probably the most important thing you can do is go to your local pro shop and make sure you get fitted for a bowling ball. Your fit is is the most important thing yes. uh, because if it's the incorrect fit then it's at different angles and your skin wears and rubs and spots it shouldn't. Uh, and it's hard for us to tell you what your correct fit is because everyone is so unique. Everyone's different. Everyone's right? literally completely yeah. different. But that so. first step is having a proper fit. That's gonna be your biggest prevention of injury right there. But as we know, everyone's different. We know guys that bowl a ton and they still have to wrap their hands. In fact, we both do some preventive measures to make sure we don't get blisters so we don't uh, have injuries. So Brad, what is what do you do in particular to help prevent injury? So I use one thing. Uh, essentially and I use a, a tape called fitting tape by turbo products it's made out of cotton and uh, and I just put it on the back of my thumb so when my thumb goes into the ball I like to take a piece of tape and just place it on the back of my thumb because where I like to rip is the skin back here for whatever reason my skin is extremely yeah. sensitive right there uh, and so this is some stuff that I have cut myself um, and I just, I cut a bunch in a row and I keep it in my bag. And then I just, every time I bowl, it's a, it's a pre-tournament thing. I always put tape on the back of my thumb because if I don't, I will rip uh, on the back of my thumb. And, and that's a very common measure that a lot of bowlers do. And, it, and that's a great practice to do to help prevent any blisters from getting on the back of your thumb because that is a very common place to have injury. And I've seen, you know, I only use it on the back of my thumb. We have friends that also tape their fingers up as well. And these are people, these are really, really good bowlers with proper fits. But see, the thing about people's skin is everyone's different. I've had, I've had lessons with people who are extremely sweaty. I've had lessons with people who just can't stop ripping. And it's an extremely frustrating process because when you're trying to get better at bowling, you can't keep your hand from ripping. Man, it just it doesn't get any more frustrating than that. Um, so you can also tape your fingers as well. Our buddy Shea Bittenbender puts like glob of, of tape yeah, on his every fingers. every single time. Every single time. AJ Chapman is another one of those guys. Yeah. Um, so the fingers and the thumb are obviously the two spots where your, your skin starts to rip. I only put it on the back, um, but I have seen people put it on the front. I've also seen people scared to put it on their fingers. Um, because it's just not normal, yeah. you know, but listen if you're one of those people where your skin rips uh, You need to do everything you possibly can for your skin not to rip and if it's an unorthodox way of going about things Then just make that your thing uh, But not ripping and protecting your hand is the most important thing. So Kyle, what do you got for us? So I'm actually a little bit on the opposite when my hands hurting, it's actually nothing that goes in the actual bowling ball. <laughs> so we're definitely on two different spectrums here. So I like to use turbo energy tape. This is basically a type of athletic tape that is going to help, I guess, prevent some fatigue and prevent injury. So where, what happens for me, I actually, on my index finger, and I don't even know if I can get close enough, but I get a callus right on my index finger. Um, it's weird just because how I release the ball. Um, and then I also get wear and tear on my wrist. When I throw a lot of games and I'm constantly coming through so, uh, and releasing shots, my hand just gets fatigued. You know, throwing a 15 pound bowling ball over and over again, you're gonna have some fatigue. So I like to use this energy tape and I'm actually gonna walk you guys through kind of my exact process that I like to do. So first, I like to cut a piece and I like to reinforce my wrist. So I'll cut a piece here probably about six inches long. Brad, can you hold that for me? Mm -hmm. I'll take this and I'll place it on the back of my wrist. So I like to start at my thumb because we have a tendon that goes in your thumb. We have a tendon that goes in your thumb and all the way down your forearm. 
So I like to start here. And this kind of reinforces this tendon. If you guys have ever been bowling and you go to grip the bowling ball and sometimes after a while it's just hard to grip it, this really helps reinforce that. Then I'll take another piece of tape. I'll cut it here, probably about, probably about four to five inches long, a little shorter, and I'll reinforce my wrist with it. So this is my preventative measure when I want to basically keep that strong wrist throughout the duration of a tournament. I'll just do this because it really helps me prevent fatigue. So now I'll tape my wrist, I'll just wrap that around the other tape, around my wrist, and this is basically like my cheater here. Like this helps me just stay at a higher level, a higher uh, a level of releasing the bowling ball throughout the time. Yeah, and to back that up, one of the last tournaments we bowled, I was having some some uh, wrist fatigue and a little bit of pain and he showed me about that tendon right there and I taped my wrist for the last portion of the tournament and it worked. I seriously did not feel anything uh, in my wrist at all. So. Yeah, it's crazy. And then uh, I just take another piece of tape and I'll wrap it around this finger. Um, this doesn't go in the ball, um, but it just helps me prevent from this, my index finger rubbing on the ball. And I know I'm weird. I don't know why everything that goes in the ball feels great, but everything else sometimes it doesn't. So. Well, sometimes these things get overlooked because everybody's weird. Everybody's body's different. Some people yes. have wrist injuries. Some people have finger injuries. Um, but see, the thing is, is you just need to find out what works for you. And if you're having pain or your skin's ripping, go through all the measures to try and fix that. Don't just keep doing the same thing over and over. Try some turbo tape. In the description below, we will link uh, Turbo Grips. They're a, a sponsor of ours. And if you go to their website, they have so many products uh, that you can use uh, to help protect anything uh, that you essentially need protected. Uh, but make sure you go through the measures of fixing it. Um, and that's anything and everything. Try some goofy things like that. Try some goofy things on your fingers. If you have a callus that rips, try that. Just try protecting everything because uh, it is important in terms of like lasting through longevity, the duration. Yeah. Longevity. Longevity, man. Um, so absolutely. So those are some of the tips that we use to uh, protect our hands. If you could, throw in the comments. Let us know what you do to protect your hands. Maybe that could help someone out. We'll see you guys later. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video, and we want to send you guys a free gift. All you have to do is click the link in the description or the comments for more details on how to get the free gift. And make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, and make sure you follow us on Instagram, Brad and Kyle. Thank you, guys.